speaking of that story. You may know Ben Listen as the Canberra ABC News sports reporter, or maybe you've seen his occasional stories on this program. This time, he's the subject of his own story. Ben is a member of Australia's bobsled team, and before we start making cool runnings comparisons, he apparently does go OK. Ben recently returned from the World Championships in the United States, where we asked him to turn the camera on himself. The bobsled World Championships are an amazing mixture of nerves, noise, speed and power. At 150 kilometres an hour and g-forces of five comparable to a fighter pilot, bobsled is truly an adrenaline sport. One that takes us to far-flung northern regions of the world to compete against some of the strongest and fastest men on the planet. Oh. <laughs> Meet the Australian four-man team. Heath Spence, the pilot and a personal trainer. He's the only experienced bobsledder. Gareth Nichols, he sits number two and is an engineer back home. <laughs> Lucas Marta, he's the brakeman and a DJ back in Perth. And myself, the reporter. I sit in three. The team was assembled after Gareth and Lucas were scouted for their impressive sub-11 second 100 metre times. Last year, while investigating winter sports for potential stories, I came across open trials for the bobsled team and surprised myself. Before I knew it, I was on a plane. There's nothing like that first run. Every instinct you have tells you to very slowly move the sled, limiting the overall speed. But you're forced to override that and push the sled as fast as possible, jump in and hold on. My job, along with Gareth and Lucas, is just that. Launch the sled from the line, run for about 30 metres, reaching about 40 kilometres an hour, and then get in. The rest is hope that we get down as quickly as possible and that nothing goes wrong. Our pilot takes it from there and there's a fine line between a fast corner and one that tips you on your head. In February this year, we travelled for the second time to North America for the World Cup and the World Championships. From anonymity at home to local celebrities, we signed autographs and got our picture taken everywhere. But we spent most of our time doing the two things that bobsledders love the most. gym and eating. We eat everywhere we go. Look at me trying to tackle my pre-raised carbohydrates. It's not going too well. In Lake Placid, it was a new kind of competition. The feel of professionalism and the presence of the elite gave the event a different flavour. This was the big show. Our first run was a PB for our pilot on the course and a PB push for all of us at the back. But sitting in the start house waiting for our second run, we were reminded just how dangerous the sport can be. Big start by these guys. Whoa, we got a lot of problems on the way in. That's Adam Clark, and he's out, he's of, the out of the sled. John Napier has now been disqualified. That right foot comes and it just misses stepping right on top. Our second run was even faster than our first. We were on track for Australia's best ever finish in the World Championships. Huge speed, with amazing speed. 128.4 K is just as fast as the night train. Sitting in 20th place. <laughs> Very happy. Very happy. Sled's holding up nicely. Boys are pushing PBs with a heavy sled. I'm happy with what they're doing. PB it's real fun, eh? Having, uh, having people cheering you on, you're hearing it as you go around corners and stuff. So, just pumped, just jack for tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, sneak a few more places and get the cheeky Koreans. The next day was colder and faster on the ice. And as we launched off the top, we felt it moved so much quicker. It's hard to describe, but even with your head down, you can sense that sometimes some things aren't going to plan. And after corner 10, I got this sinking feeling. Late into 12 there, that's the kind of problem. That's the thing that happens when these tracks speed up. Wow, and that was before this chicane, and this is going to be a long, hard ride down. 
It was devastating, a hollow feeling that we'd missed the chance to do something really special. But there was perspective from all of us quickly. This was just year one on our three-season journey to the Winter Olympics. In terms of start times, we sit just three-tenths of a second behind the world's elite, a gap we are confident of bridging in the next two years. We compete in sleds worth just a few thousand dollars. The best teams have sleds worth as much as a hundred thousand. We have the speed and the desire. We need size and power. But like the rest of the team, there's nothing I'd rather do than slide. <laughs> Crazy man Ben, listen with that report.